Continuing Blue's Clues Month, I decided to share one of my favorite episodes with you. And if you want to know where I'm at, I'm laying in my bed. Why? I don't know. Now before we get started, I need to mention one thing. I'm going to be showing you some various photos of, from each episode and tiny bit of small clips so I won't get any copyright box from Viacom. And another thing, I'll be showing you the title of the episode and what season it came from and the number of the episode. The ones I'll be talking about, whether they made a big impact on my life or they didn't. And if they didn't, there are a few parts in the episode that I do remember very often. Another thing I need to mention is that the editing is really, really too fast and the video is really rushed out. And I was so late on it, so I apologize in advance for that, and I'll promise I'll never do that again. So, with that out of the way, let's get to one of my favorite, top 10 favorite Blue's Clues episodes. Starting with... Number 10. What does Blue want to do on a rainy day? I really love this episode so much that it makes me want to sing. In fact, this is what the entire theme of the episode is about. It has Steve Tamp dancing in the kitchen while saying we are looking for blues clues, help out the farm animals find the right tune for their song, and using kitchen appliances to form a marching band at the very end. Number 9. Math. This episode really taught me how to count, how to add and subtract. Mailbox's stamp book looks really cool. And I also really love the present store. Even though my head no longer thinks about math equations from school, but I'll still remember this episode that did help me out just a little bit. Number 8, the 100th episode celebration. Now we're entering the Joe era of episodes. I love this episode because it pays tribute to seasons 1 through 4 when Steve was in the spotlight. And you'll never guess who the special guest star for this episode was. That's right. I'm, of course, talking about Jack Black. Number 7. Colors Everywhere. Now, I will admit that I do have a soft spot for Donovan Patton as Joe. I really love how the characters use his finger paint to draw themselves on the really big canvas. And we can't forget this one musical number called Colors, Colors Everywhere that really taught me the colors names of... Aquamarine, Marigold, and many others. Number 6. Blue's Big Pajama Party. This episode really makes me... <sighs> sleepy. Just from watching it. And this episode really taught me everything about how day turns into night. Number 5. Adventures in Art. I wouldn't be the artist today if it weren't for this episode. Even though I don't paint as much often, I'm still really good at drawing. And I will say, I do love the original Blue Clues theme song. And I know 14 episodes later, it'll be known as the theme song we know today. But I will admit, I do have a soft spot of the original, and I do love to sing along to it. Number 4, Blue Storytime. If you love the Three Little Pigs story, then you're going to love it at the end of the episode. This episode would also introduce some reoccurring characters such as Blue's friend Magenta and Baby Bear, who we meet in the Skidoo segment in the Three Bears story, who would also become a reoccurring character as well. I really love Mailbox Design here. The way his pupils blur out when he yells, THE MAIL! Which makes him both funny yet weird at the same time, I love it. And I know I creeped you all out from saying that, well... It's early season one of Blue's Clues, what did you expect? But that's not the only weird part about this mail time segment. Rather, it's this. And I will admit, I love this part too. Well, I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Number three. Blue wants to play a song game. This right here is another episode you can sing along to. In another rendition where Steve sings We Are Lucky For Our Blues Clues While Taking Giant Steps is one of my favorite parts in this episode. <laughs> and the number two silver medal goes to Blue's Birthday. I love this episode for three reasons. 
One, the birthday dance. Two, in the mail time segment that all the celebrities wish Blue a happy birthday. And three, there's a running gag where Steve opens a present revealing another one inside and another one inside of it too. This episode marks the final appearance of the present store as well. And that's a shame because this could have been a unique location to skidoo to. Oh well. Now before we blue skidoo to our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Now I will say, I don't remember these episodes very often, but I will mention some parts that I do remember in these episodes. I remember this episode very fondly, specifically for those blocks. This episode would expand the entire Blue's Clues neighborhood thanks to Periwinkle. The episode that started it all. Even though it did look weird in parts, but it was still a great introduction to the series. Now this episode really makes you jump for joy. <laughs> this episode really taught me how to make some choco milk. And my favorite number one Blue's Clues episode is... Blue's Big Treasure Hunt. I bet you're all expecting the birthday episode to be number one, huh? Well, it's alright. It is my list after all. I love the designs of the treasure chests. I love the land of great discovery. I love how Mailbox interrupts the entire opening of the show. And I love the ending of the episode. If you have any grandparents, then this number one pick is just for you. And this was the top 10 list of my favorite Blue's Clues episodes. I hope you enjoy them. And, uh, and I'll admit, these episodes I chose were really random. So, uh, well... Tell me what your favorite Blue's Clues episodes are in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time because there's more Blue's Clues month coming soon.